y'all it's dina and i just wanted to just post this quick video here on um a couple little things that i picked up at walmart um this was in kind of an end cap display so i'm not sure how new these are but this is the first time that i have seen them um they are new from the brand nyc um which i always see at walmart i know that they do sell it at other places um but this is just where i purchased mine um these are a powder that um, is on like a lipstick, like a lip gloss kind of applicator. So, you know, it, it has the pull out just like a tube of lipstick does or a, you know, like it's got the little, I don't want to make a mess because these are very messy, but see how it has that same applicator, just like the little spongy applicator, doe foot. So um, anyway, there are several of these shades um, that they had released with this, what are these called? Let's see, multi-reflex um, sparkle eye dust. And these were under $3 a piece. <clears throat> Let me see if, if it's got, um, let's see, the one that I have here that I'm showing you will be Bronze Shimmer. It's number 884. Probably you're not going to be able to see the name of it. course not but um, this one is bronze shimmer and then the other color that I got is number 880 and it's called golden champagne and this makes a great little highlight color and it really is it's a golden champagne so I mean they're right on with their names um, what I can say about these is um, first of all I did wear this yesterday um, it wore all day long I did wear it over you know I had a primer underneath it I used the put a lid on it by the bomb um, didn't have any problems with creasing or fading. Um, they are very, very messy. Um, the way that the package is designed, it's not that practical. As you know, as soon as you open this and you start to pull it out, the powder starts falling out as you're pulling it. And see, you can see it like landing on the base of my uh, makeup mirror here. So, you know, the more you pour it, pull it out, the more susceptible it is to fall. But um, what I did with mine was I just took it and um, just kind of patted it like this on my eye, just all over, you know, the lid where I was applying it to, because I did wear this color all over the lid, and then I just stuck a darker color in the crease. But And then I took a blending brush and actually blended it out. And, it, it you know, they've got really good pigmentation. It's just if you don't want fallout all over your face, that's how I applied mine, and it worked really good. Um, if you take it and rub it, I mean, that powder, see how it's flaking everywhere, and there's a big old, you know, quite a bit of it falling all over the place. So um, these can be extremely messy, but um, the pigmentation on them is actually really good. So that's the first one there, the Bronze Shimmer. And as you can see, look, see, it's dripping all down my hand, and it's just what's coming off of that applicator there. So they are very messy, so just keep that in mind. Um, but, you know, I think they're great as far as pigmentation goes. I'm trying to get some of that out of there because it's going to make a mess. I'll just wipe it off with a wet wipe. Okay, the next one is the Golden Champagne, uh, number 880. And this one makes an awesome highlight color. So, see, when I pulled that out, all that product is stuck up there on that lid. So, I mean, this is a very poor design um, as far as the design of it goes, but... Look at all oh, you can see all that just falling off everywhere. What a waste. Um, so this one here, I will <clears throat> pat on my hand here. But, I mean, look at the color. It's really pretty. You know what these remind me a lot of are the Pearl Mania uh, shadows or pigments that uh, NYX has out. They remind me a lot of that. So um, kind of around the same price, too. But these were, I think these were like two eighty eight, maybe. I think that sounds right. Um, at my Walmart, and I did see a very large display of them. I went to actually two different stores within the past week, and I did see um, a very large display that had grays and blues and burgundies and all kinds of colors, so um, keep a lookout on these if you're interested in the colors. I think they're very pretty. Um, they do wear well. They don't crease. Um, the packaging is pretty small. It's about the size of a, I would say, a lip See, I was trying to think. I've got, actually, I think these are the same. Maybe, well, the MAC one's a little bit smaller, but this is a lip glass. 
Um, so you can see, I mean, they're just about the same size. I was looking to see. Um, it says 2.1 grams. And that's pretty much all it has on it. Um, I don't know. I mean, if you're looking for something inexpensive that has some pretty good pigmentation, I would recommend these. I think that they're um, great as far as the quality of the product. The design, on the other hand, is completely awful. Um, it is horrible. Completely horrible. So, um, yeah, keep your eye out for these if you're interested in them. Um, I don't know if they're limited edition. I didn't see that on the display. So, maybe these are something that are going to be part of their permanent line. But... I really do think the colors are gorgeous, so um, let me know what you think, or if you have picked any of these up, um, let me know if you like them. I did really like the way they wore, so I will continue to use these, but I just wanted to share them with you with a quick video. So, thank you guys for watching, and um, please make sure to subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.